own future. Shit. Mission underway. Scan Yes! Yes! Play! Playmaker! Yo, was that not fire? Was that not fire? Me anticipating that shit? How fire was that? Tell me that's not the best saber in the world right there. Tell me that's not best saber in the world. I know it is. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Fights, back at it with another video. But if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit, hit, hit. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Come follow us on Twitch, join us on Discord, it's the best thing ever, you won't regret it. Also guys, uh, if you do join the Discord and you are part of the community, you de do get to play games with us when we do viewer matches. I usually say from time to time on the streams when we do that, so if you want to be part of that... Definitely be sure to join this community. There's a lot of cool people you could also play with as well. Uh, we don't have YouTube monetization, unfortunately. So if you did want to support the channel financially because you really appreciate the content we do, check out the YouTube description below. There's a Patreon link. But most importantly, guys, I do love having you guys get something back. So we do have a storefront. We have coffee mugs and t-shirts. And we got more stuff on the way. So let's get into this guide, guys. This is now our third video that we're doing in regards to a, a guide on a character or a hero. I want to talk about today our boy Saber. Yes, we do have the Legend skin. It's absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at this animation before we get this started. I'm going to stay quiet. Project Storm activated. I love this skin, guys. I don't know if it's the skin that gives me the skills or whatever, but this skin is so cool. Don't get me wrong. The Onimaru skin would be the other skin I would like, but it's a limited time event skin, so I can't get it. So I definitely picked this up because I absolutely love it. So what we're going to do, guys, is kind of the same thing we've been doing in all the other videos is we're going to talk about... You know, the skills, we're going to talk about the type of build, the battle spell we use, and then some of the techniques that you can use to kind of be efficient with Saber. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's going to be an amazing match at the end of this so you guys can see how good we did. I think we went like 17 or 18 and 1, some crazy thing, but it was a lot of fun playing with this game uh, character. We were playing with this character over the past weekend, and it was just amazing. So, let's get into the skills really quick, guys. This character is a character that is very... He's very squishy because he's an assassin character. So you have to get in, get out. So there's a lot of methodology on how you have to play with him to kind of achieve this. Uh, but let's talk about the skill sets first and then we'll kind of start diving into some of the aspects of it. So the first part I want to talk about is his passive. His passive is uh, basically a skill that it it's every hit that he does he reduces the armor of the enemy hero or creep or whatever by seven this can stack up to five times it actually says it here so you see this saber damage reduces physical defense of enemies by seven this effect can stack up to five times so that means 7 14 21 28 35 you can drop the enemy's armor by 35 that's actually really awesome for not only for you but also your teammates and one of the things that is super important to kind of keep in mind is that when you're using his a1 the shuriken you're gonna see the armor symbol breaking at the top of the characters when you're doing that the defense reduction is actually stacking so it's a good thing so when you do an attack it helps uh, it helps the enemy heroes uh, defense kind of drop so it's a really good thing that's super important guys so this shuriken is really good for setting up when you're zoning away and you're not trying to engage but you're kind of just trying to apply some pressure with your team so they can actually deal with the damage reduction so you can if your alt isn't up you can use the shurikens to kind of help the team that sense i do that i do a lot of zoning gameplay with saber from time to time when i'm doing that or when i'm about to kill without the all i definitely always pop the shurikens when they're available and they could give you this type of debuff to the enemies to help you do a little more damage or help your teammates do a little more damage it's actually really nice the next skill is his a2 i personally use this a2 
uh, for traveling purposes majority of the time you can kind of go through certain walls and things like that or you can you can close the gap between you and an enemy very quickly before using your alt i definitely do like using this to get in and also get out or if i can get in without using it i will do that to actually uh just do the alt and escape so there's a lot of methodology uh about that now the other important thing is when you're doing an attack it actually reduces the reduction the the, the cooldown of this a2 when you're attacking and stuff and you're going to see that in some of the uh, gameplay we do that over time, like that cooldown starts to drop when you're attacking and stuff. So I use this as a traveling, as a means to travel. I don't really use it in a means to, you know, do something as trying to kill. I do do that from time to time if I'm chasing down and I know I can confirm a kill, but I don't make that the high priority for this move. This is really for navigation because you could do a lot of cool things where you're in a brush and then you can dash alt and then you're going to see like, here's a perfect example where I kind of do this triangle pattern to get behind the turret, kill a character, and then kind of get out. There we go. So I really like to use A2 for that thing, but if I know that I'm going to kill someone because they're at like 20% health and I have the shurikens out, you know I'm going to do a chase down with the A2 if I don't have my alt up. So that's some of the methodology behind A2. Now, A3 is essentially... It's an amazing air combo. I always feel like I'm playing Marvel vs. Capcom when I'm doing this, guys. It's so it's absolutely awesome because you're basically knocking them up in the air and then just hitting them a few times to do some damage. And it says dealing three times the damage. So the important thing here, guys, is when you have your shurikens out, your shurikens will help you do significant damage. So you never really want to alt unless you have your shurikens out. There's actually a time in the match where i do do it with the shurikens and you see how low the damage is but it my shurikens were on cooldown and i felt like i could kill the person so i did and we actually killed them but from optimized damage you're definitely going to want to have those shurikens out so you could do that type of stuff the a2 as you kind of see it says that the next basic attack does increase do uh increase damage and slowing them down and stuff like that so that it is a way to be aggressive with this but it's kind of like i said like there's a methodology and a purpose on why I use that A2 and it's it's priority one for me is navigation and it's secondary utility is to actually do a chase down kill, um, which I don't use it very often, but I do it when the occasion arise, but arises. All now, right, guys, one thing I definitely did want to mention about this all uh, that I kind of showed in the beginning. If you see the fact that he launches the enemy up and puts them down at that time of of this alt treats it like an alt like a stun because they can't escape from things so you can do very nifty things kind of like you saw in the beginning of the video where you can launch them you can use your alt to keep them in place by a turret so the turret starts doing damage so there's a lot of cool techniques you can do with this alt to kind of help and just to talk a little bit more about strategies with the shurikens the other important thing that i do want to emphasize with saber is that when you are using the shurikens if you're attacking a tower it increases the damage on the tower significantly guys basically usually most champions have to use their basic attack and then that's kind of it uh this enhances uh his basic attack so it really also does help doing that um, so definitely always pop those shurikens when you're trying to take a turret down. It definitely helps a lot. You'll see that they actually get consumed and the turret damage increases uh, by a lot. So that is some of the basic strategies when you're kind of dealing with Saber. You're definitely going to want to utilize the brushes as much as possible. So you can basically appear and then disappear. You're, you're basically playing like a ninja. That's how you're going to play this game. And the character is very squishy. So you have to be very mindful of how you're going to play it. Now, if you're dealing with a counter like Hanzo, because Hanzo, Hanzo is a very strong counter for you because uh, Hanzo obviously can be safe. He can use his ult to come ghost form and then he could try to chase you down. Uh, the priority of that would be if you're doing team battles, you kind of have to wait to see when Hanzo appears and the team needs to kill him. 
if uh if your team's not killing him you're gonna have to take the priority to kill him before he starts killing your teammates now the thing that kind of sucks about that is you may need to use your alt in order to do that if he has a lot of hp but and hanzo's alt actually is a is a really low uh cooldown but it's kind of like for the greater good um or you can wait till hanzo appears and then you can let him get handled by the team and then once you deem it safe you can leave or if you see hanzo really far away from you you can kill one of the very uh squishy characters in the game you're never really gonna want like as saber you're never gonna want to go against the tanks you're never gonna want to deal with those cap type of characters you're gonna want to go for ad carries like uh you're gonna want to go for layla you're gonna want to go for the mages you're gonna want to go for those people that do damage but they really can't take any damage and you can kill them very quick so that's your goal as the assassin especially as saber you're not trying to take a tigreal out it would be very painful for you uh to do that and then someone will creep up and kill you so your priority is going to be for the most part really taking down the squishy characters and then just getting out even if you can't take the character out saber should not be continuously engaging with the enemy it should be something where you get in you get out you kind of wait till your cooldowns are back up and you start over again so it's, it's really like you're trying to look for the 1v1 pickoffs when they're not expecting you uh when they're not tanky characters so you could just kind of do your kills and then when it is team battles you're basically trying to slip in there and slip out like you just gotta like like the word justin just in and out that's it that's all saber is so you're gonna see some really cool stuff there let's talk about the builds really quick and what i used and what you can use and what do some people use in this case so if we look at the builds real quick uh the main build i use you're gonna want to use him as a jungle that's he that's his priority he he basically goes around the map picking people off when they overextend their turret lane so if they go over the 50 percent mark or they're in a position where you could actually just da a2 dash in there alt and then get out you're definitely going to want to do that because even if you don't uh like say you were doing that for one of the mid enemies even if you don't kill the enemy if you drop their health to 20 percent you put them in a position where now they have to go back which is really good for your teammate because now they can farm middle and uh and get the experience and now the other mid person starts to fall behind so whether kill or not you're still ben you're making the team benefit by forcing them to go back to go heal so uh that's something to keep in mind so you're gonna want to go for a jungle build uh for most of the time uh you you can do other type of like lanes and stuff like that i would i wouldn't personally i love using uh saber as a jungle that's where he's really proficient in because you're really trying to set up scenarios where you can hide behind the brush and just kill someone uh and that's where you're gonna get a lot of quick experience because he can jungle really fast it's actually really awesome so you, this is the jungle build i go i do go for rose gold meteor this is really nice because uh it gives you some sustain on survivability because once your health drops to 30 percent, you get a shield out of it uh that lasts for three seconds you can do uh immortality which is basically the resurrection you could do a combination of the two if you are really dealing with some issues of surviving but uh i felt like rose gold meteor was really nice enough for me to have that and it also gives some life steal so it's kind of really good on both ends because you know you heal over time staying away from the fight and then you get right back in the battle once you're kind of in a good position for that so these are some of the nice builds you can do you can kind of see some of the other people doing some various builds on the pro builds but for for the most part when you're doing saber you're going to want to go for a dps jungle build you're not really going to want to do any other things with him and that's my personal opinion guys you can if you want to if you guys do let me know in the comments below that would be awesome to hear now for the battle spell obviously because we are going jungle we're going to be going with the retribution spell and uh and that's pretty much it on that the final piece i definitely do want to talk about before i kick off this video and you can see this amazing match which is a lot of fun so be sure to check it out at the end is you're gonna want to go for the assassin emblem so let's back out of here let's go to the emblems really quick if we go to preparation this is the emblem i kind of use um obviously we don't have it fully decked out but that doesn't matter because we still have it where it serves its purpose and killing spree is where it's at so 
When we're slaying an enemy hero, it restores 15% HP and increases movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds. So if you do kill someone, you really move quick and you can get out of there. And by using your alt with the shurikens and stuff and then the cooldown reduction on the A2 happening, you with this also, it really helps you get out of there. And if you started to get attacked while you were diving in there, that 15% will regenerate once you kill this enemy. If you don't, obviously you don't get the benefit out of it, but uh nine nine out of ten times if you are playing saber and killing the right people you will most likely be killing the squishy clothy or whatever characters that pump out a lot of damage but cannot take a lot of damage and then you'll be able to reap the rewards from this um i do put agility two percent uh six uh what is it called four percent speed on it so it helps with that I did put one point on attack just to do a little more damage. You can go full speed if you want to. That is not a bad idea. There really is no wrong answer here when you're doing that. I did go for physical penetration in this case because of our character. Um, and that was pretty much it. I didn't put anything like crit or anything like that. Like I really go for generic builds where all classes can kind of benefit from it at the end of the day. So this is kind of like, you know, the assassin emblem I use. But... Basically, I just wanted to emphasize we use like the last talent tree is the important one. So killing spree is where it's at and that's where you go for the assassin emblem and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. So guys, this is what I use for Saber. I'm going to leave it so you can check this video out. I really hope you guys like it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what champion you'd love to see next. I hope you will enjoy this this match. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. <laughs> There we go. Not only would I hit him with a bag of uh, nickels, I would fucking... I would make sure I would fucking steal everything they got. Nah, I should be good, Benny. You can go do your thing. I'll be good. I'm 100% legit. Hola, amigo. What's up, Billy? How's it going? Como esta todo? I don't know if you're actually speaking Spanish to me because you speak Spanish. But I speak Spanish fluently, so. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Billy? One day, we will return to our homeland. That was so bad. Saludos desde Argentina. Oh! Mi familia es uruguayo. Mi madre es uruguaya y mi padre es italiano. Gotta love that chorizo and pan, baby! Chori pan, son. That's where it's at. I had to do it without the sword. I had to do it without it. Don't do it, bitch. Alright, I'm backing out. Do you play Gusion? Yeah, I do play Gusion. I gotta get back to playing Gusion again soon. I don't want to go the turtle because I feel like it's not safe yet. And it looks like these people need some help. I'll help you in a bit. Just be defensive, um, Benny. I just want to get this. You got scared. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that, bro. Oh shit, you got both of them? Damn, I thought I was gonna get one of them. <laughs> Enemy ahead. 
Please, please get that kill. Please get that kill. Why did I why did I help without ult? I shouldn't have helped. Clint! Last time I'm helping you, you piece of shit. We just learned that Clint is trash. I learned during the I learned during the matches, like early on, who to help and who not to. Clint sucks. Not helping him. You can help yourself end game when the fucking class carries you. You AD carry fucking you brainless piece of shit. But until then, yo, you're on your own, dude. Just keep dying and feeding them like an idiot. Someone took the big buff? Nothing so far. You guys can do that shit. I'm getting this. Fuck that! You ain't escaping the wrath of the Feist fam. Even the sharpest sword needs a man to wield it. You know what? I'm not helping him. I'm not helping him. No. No. I don't have my super, my ult. your eggs alien this guy oh you're going for the I got you I got you you're so yo Benny's too thoughtful fam Benny's too thoughtful my boy was waiting, kindly, to give me the buff. Did we just, yo, did we just air combo him like we were in Marvel vs. Capcom, bro? Did we just air combo that motherfucker? Doing OTG off the ground? <laughs> yo, he kicked the shit out of him. My character followed and then he started doing his thing. We just hair comboed him. <laughs> no. Shit, I tried to help before that happened. I love that the, the swords, these things... I yeah. Let me see if I could help Roger out. What's up, Nazir? How's it going?
This is probably a bad idea on my part, but it's fine. One day, we will return to our is he by himself? I hear people. Yo, I don't mind going for it, but he's getting health. Yo, can you kick? Kick that bitch away! Yo, she was tunneling so hard! Thank you so much, Benny. <laughs> yo. My boy came and saved my ass. I was like, yo, I don't have anything right now. I did the retribution to slow. She's probably really mad. I shouldn't have gone. Like, that was... I should have never went that aggressive, but I did. They're going to be very angry at life. You're assassin, bro. That's what you do. You assassinate people. <laughs> the universe is too dark. We can be the light. Mega kill. God damn. Damn, th she was going for me, bro. I had to back out. Good stuff. Good stuff, bro. Seconds later. <laughs> I it's time to be a lumberjack. Yo, we hacked away at that motherfucker. Esmeralda better think twice before fucking with Kagura. We write our own future. Really? Really, bro? Yo, she came at me, son? She came at me. She was a bit of dick on that one. Don't do it. Fuck it. Ah, oh, he's stealing. He's stealing. Stealing my shine, bro. All right, we're going for Lord. Fuck that, I'm using it. Yeah, they're gonna die straight up. That's that's two one.
Don't do it. Don't do it to my boy Roger. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that bitch is hitting, getting hit in 17 seconds. All I hear is legendary, son. All I hear is legendary. <laughs> All I hear is legendary, son. Oh shit. That's that's a technique of being a bit of a dick. I'll wait, I'll wait. I thought they were conceding. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't. I can't. Like, I, that, I was like, I saw my calling cards the next afterlife. I was like, I'm not fucking with that. God damn, bro. They're, they're just... One day, they're trolling a bit too hard right now. Legendary! <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> All this shit's like, yo, we're like fucking Randy Orton right now. We're legend killers. I'm coming. Ah 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 Oh shit I'm out No You scared me bro that's mine Yeah, I'm playing with the viewer right now. I'm playing with uh, Benny. Which is kind of funny. Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> oh, shit, son! Why are you getting caught with your pants down? Yo, just finish it. Just finish it, bro. Just finish it. Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> Don't they see there being like... It's getting a bit ridiculous. I'm going for Lord, fam. I'm going for Lord. Oh, God. That's so brutal. Shout out to everyone hanging out. Yo, guys, if you do want to play, uh, just to give you a heads up, I actually, um, I play with people that are part of the Discord, so if you guys want to be part of the, um, <laughs> that fucking legendary side. Legendary! Legendary! It's like, it's like her voice was getting sore. Like, she, she started losing her voice. Legendary! It would have been funny if that, if they did that. Where, like, after, like, the 18th one in the game, like, her voice starts getting squealy. Like, it's kind of almost like you're putting a strain on the character in the game. Legendary! <laughs> like, you just hear her fading out. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Ugh. That's a fun way to play Saber. Yo, thank you for that look at- Yo, Benny, you fucking looked out for me with that Esmeralda sign. When that fucking, when I was trying to run to that turret and you, you picked her off, you peeled her off me and then wrecked her. That was ridiculous.
But yeah, um, I play with people that want to be part of the community to help us to grow. So if you want to uh, be part of the community, come join us on Discord. Then add me in the game and in the MOBA games chat when uh, when I ask for viewer matches, uh, you can join. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya